Long before photocopiers and printers were invented, there was a problem of quick copy and process of documents in office management. As there weren't any mechanism able to copy text or pictures, that slowed down the development of branches that required various documents processing. The press was one of the first devices that solved the problem. It was invented in 1780 by James Watt, an inventor of a steam engine. The copying machine was composed of a box with sections for pencils, pens, rulers and papers, special section, spare box that stored copy and paper. The metal box kept a supply of paint and water, three-fourths of an ounce, and there was enough for 24 copy sheets. The metal box was located on the upper side of the device. It served to press the original sheet. Copy sheets were kept in a specific solution for 12 hours, then they were ready for copying. The prepared sheets could be taken out of the spare box. The other sheets remained in the section for up to two weeks and were ready for use at any time. The copying itself was performed by turning the handle of the device. It rotated two brass rolls located in the lower part of the device body. The original document was placed on a copying plate between elevated sides and was pressed to dump copying paper to have an impression. That's how copying sheets get a mirrored copy of a document. The device was ready for use after 24 hours drying in a drying book made of filter paper. It was important to use special copying ink when making an original in order to have a good copy. Even damping of copying sheets was an important thing during the copying process as well. There is an ink stand and containers for dry powder in the lower part of the device. The dry powder is used to make ink during a trip. The portable copying machine of James Watt was already popular in the 1780s, although it was difficult to operate and it took much time to get a copy. Benjamin Franklin, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson were using the machine while making the laws. The company founded by Watt had been producing such machines up to the end of the 19th century.